Keep watching Charis TV. I want to kill it. Clever too much. Leave him. Don't touch me. Lift him up. Leave this brother now, you demon. I want to kill him! I want to kill him! Your brother is, who came with him here? Who want to use that brother? You came with him. You are from Zana? Eh? Yes. All of you? Yes. Eh? You? Where do you come from? Botswana. Eh? From Botswana. Brother, you need deliverance, eh? Eh? Yes, sir. But when you sleep, you see a woman. Yes, sir. Coming to sleep with you. Uh, huh? True, sir. I can't hear you. Very true, sir. You sleep, you see a woman coming to sleep with you. Yes, sir. Jesus' name. Come on, you demon. Come on. What are you doing to him? Huh? Why are you blocking him? Come on. Put a bag in his mouth. My brother, can you give me this belt? Huh? What do you say? Will you give me the belt? <laughs> yeah, I can give it to you, sir. Take it out, you'll be free. Amen. Throw it down like this. There's nothing wrong with the belt, but the belt must not influence. So you are being misled. You, you know, you want to be a prophet. Yes, eh? sir. Yes, sir. So now, if you wear a belt to be a prophet, it's no longer about the Holy Spirit now. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There's no problem with the belt. But the belt is misleading you. You are free. You are free. Eh? Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T. Ima Gananisa. And with me here today is my brother, who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, greetings, greetings church. My name is Apostle Rejoice Emmanuel. I'm from Botswana. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and he ministered upon your life. So I'd love that you please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. I confirm to be true what the Apostle said to me because he talked about the woman who comes and sleeps with me during the night. So I confirm it to be true because this thing has been happening for a a very long time. I tried to pray it, it out, it will stop, but it, it will keep on occurring. So I confirm it to be really true. And how has this affected you? Hey, my life has been moving in cycles. Nothing has been not moving financially. There's nothing to write home about. I'm waking, but nothing is moving. So I believe it was because of this spiritual wife something there. Come on! Out! Out in Jesus' name! Bring it here. You feel something here? Huh? Yes. But the problem is when it goes down. Yes. To your private. Yes. And this won't allow you to be in any relationship. You hear me? Amen. It, it won't allow you. Because this is saving you like your partner. <laughs> Come out! Out! Oh, you demon!
And with me here today is my sister, who was located during the service <coughs> by Prophet Andrew Simono, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Madi Mumadingana, and I'm from Malam Lililimpumpo. Today, during the service, the man of God located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Oh, yes. Uh, the man of God mentioned to me that there's something in my stomach and it's something that I can feel that goes down into my private parts. Yes, I can confirm it to be something that is true because I can always feel that there's something moving here. Number two, he said that uh, because of this thing, um, it will not allow me to meet a man or have a relationship, so I can confirm that to be true as well. And how long has this been happening and how has it affected you? I wouldn't be able to say how long because I feel like all of my relationships I haven't been able to work, so I guess it's always been there. And now today I got the deliveries yes, that I'm looking for. Jesus name. Jesus name. I'm seeing something here. You always feel pain here. It's true. Eh? It's true. Did you tell your wife? Uh, actually, even this pastor, I told him about huh? it. I told this pastor about it. Even my wife knows about it. No, this one is not my wife. Oh, She's it's not your not wife? My, yeah. Did you tell your wife? I told my wife. She knows about the pain. It's been because, here for a long time. Because that's the reason why you are affected. On your union. You understand? The reason why you are becoming weak is because of this attack. Okay. So, did you tell your wife? About the pain. Yeah. She knows about it. Did you tell your wife why you're becoming weak? No. This is the problem. <laughs> After this, yeah. People will wonder who's you. Yeah. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Pastor Kilero. I'm from Botswana Palape. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us in details what he said to you and you please confirm it. Actually, he said I have got a pain on my lower part of my stomach. Then I confirmed that it is, it, that pain has been like that for, for some time. I mean, for many, for many years. So it's true. How long have you been experiencing this pain and how has it affected you? Uh, this pain has been here, ah, I can't remember how long, but it has been there. It goes, it comes, and it has been like that. And how has it affected you? Uh, it's really affected me because that pain, ah, sometimes when I sleep, it's difficult for me to sleep. I sometimes even put some, some things like rolling some 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 uh, like a towel when it's painful roll it and put it here so it has been like that and how do you feel that today the man of god located you and he ministered upon your life ah i feel very great since he had located it and i believe he's completely healed now amen and how would you encourage somebody who's experiencing a similar issue that you experienced before you received prayer today? Uh, actually, I encourage those who, the viewers in the, at home, that uh, uh, I encourage them to come to Charis because there is healing in Charis. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. We are done. Come on. Who is your wife, sir? You need to pray for your house. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. The way Satan is fighting it is not good. Amen. So I believe Jesus will help you. Amen. You know, because I'm seeing an attack on you. Amen. So that makes you to struggle a lot. Yeah, I'm struggling. You know, I don't want to mention that. As I'm saying, I'm seeing an attack on you. It's as if your manhood doesn't work. I know. So now, if this continues like this, this is, will break your house. Amen. So now because I see you, Satan is even tempting you to take tablets. <laughs> Amen. No? 
Amen. Come here. Jesus wants to heal you. <laughs> You're a pastor? Assistant pastor. Assistant pastor. Come on. Come on. Leave this man, you demon. Come on. You know, Jesus will heal you. From today, you don't need to take anything. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Yeah, because this was becoming a serious temptation for you. Amen. You will be strong. Don't worry. Amen. God bless you. Amen. You are free. Lift this man up. When I pray for you, I hear things in my hands here. You must take care of yourself. Thank you. Really. Amen. And pray for the healing, the sick people. Amen. Amen. Because you were a gift of healing. You. Amen. And Satan wants to make you sick. And with me here today is my brother, who was located during the service by the apostle who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Prophet Thomas Mbadi. I'm coming from West Noria in the church called the Word of Healing Ministries. Sir, today during the service, the apostle located you and he ministered upon your life. So I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. When he prayed for me, uh, I, I fell down and I heard him saying, bring this brother up and uh, then he prayed for me for the second time but he said when he was praying for me he felt something on his hand i have got a, a gift of healing and also the devil is trying to make me sick yeah then what uh, i i believe that what he said is true because also it, my calling was all about healing the ministry which i come from is word of healing ministry in which i'm the head and the leader of that and there is a lot of testimonies of people whom I prayed for, whether through the laying of hands or whether just sending a WhatsApp prayer and they get healed. Then in the issue of the enemy is trying to cause me sick, I also believe with that because when you deal with uh, people who are sick, the enemy will try to attack you. And I also have gone through different, I could perceive a lot of attack on that area, but I have seen God always making me victorious. And successful. Amen. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and he ministered upon your life? I'm feeling very much great because you know it's more of the confirmation of also of my ministry. You know, it just also make me to know that I'm truly I'm in the right path. Amen. Amen. And so how would you encourage somebody who's watching this? Uh, Apostle uh Makananisa is a man of God. Truly, especially if you have got a gift of seeing, you will know that this is a man of God and a man who is worthy. Sometimes take a time to come and visit him. You know, iron sharpening iron. Thank you. Yeah. Who gave you this name, Daniel? Uh, it, it's my father. It's your father? Yes. This name, after today, I want it to work for you. Yes. You hear me? Yes, prophet. Because you're struggling. Yes. There's a lot of poverty around you. You know, there's a lady that has been supporting you. Yes, prophet. With everything that she has. Yes, prophet. You hear me? Yes, prophet. But there was a time everything escalated as if you people want to separate. Yes, sir. So now today I want to pray for you. This poverty must finish. Yes, prophet. Jesus loves you. Sister, come on. And with me here today is my father, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Sumano, who ministered upon his life. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Daniel, and I come from Botswana. Today the man of God located you and he spoke to you. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Yes, the man of God told me that there's a lot of poverty around my life and I confirm it to be true because I've been struggling for a long time. I was actually born in a very poor family from where I'm, where I'm coming from in Botswana and the prophecy is true. He also mentioned the case of my name, that my name is Daniel who, who gave me the name. I said it, it was my father's name, so I decided to use it. 
Yes, because of, even my father wanted me to use it. And he said he's praying for me today so that from today this name will begin to work for me. Amen. And how long have you been experiencing poverty and how has it affected you? Uh, it has been happening for a long time. Since I was born, I, was, I realized that I was in a poor family. And I've been struggling from since then. And I've been praying and praying and believing God for a change. I believe the word of God today is timely. And by the prophets that were spoken, everything is going to change today. I thank God for the prophetic word. Amen. Amen. And how do you feel that today you were located and the men of God ministered upon your life? I feel so blessed because I've been looking forward for this moment and for the for this solution. And I believe God because everything I've realized everything that I've received in this place has already has, has really worked. And I believe that even this way it will work and bring change in my life in Jesus' name. So from today, the case of your father is broken. Amen. 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 Because you are concerned yeah. about your family. Amen. Everybody is suffering. Amen. And you say you want to see breakthrough. Amen. So you see you'll make it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are free. Where is your husband? At home. This attack here will be over today. Thank you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You want children? Yes. Because this is a problem. Come on. This attack will be over. Amen. Do you Thank hear me? You. Yes. So now after I pray for you, expect a child. Thank you, Jesus. Expect a child. Come on! Because your husband has been telling you about it, a child. Amen. Huh? Yes. And now there's a delay. True. So now after I pray for you, the mercy of God will help you. Amen. Thank you. We don't you. help people, it's Jesus who help people. Thank you. You hear me? Yes. You're free. You must forgive your husband. You hear yes. me? Yes. Sir. Forgive him. Uh, you'll see things will start to work out now. You know, because you're trying to forgive, but sometimes you're still thinking about what he has done. You yes. hear me? Yes. So forgive him. Trust him again. I believe Jesus will bring peace to your house. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing there's a car, Mercedes-Benz car. Yes. Huh? Yeah. You people, you need to pray. I'm hearing accident. You need to pray. I believe God will protect him and you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Matimba Nobela. I come from Pretoria. The man of God today located you and he ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. He said that I must forgive my husband and trust him again. And then he mentioned the issue of uh, the car that my husband and I drive, Mercedes Benz, that it sees a spirit of an accident between the two of us. So I confirm the prophecy to be true. Regarding um, him telling you to forgive your husband, would you kindly please give us a background of what he was talking about? Uh, he was talking about the issue of infidelity. So uh, that is what he was referring to when he said that I need to forgive him. How has the issue of the infidelity been affecting you? It has affected me that I, I 
didn't trust him anymore and I kept thinking of what he has done to me so it made me to hold back with the issue of me trusting him and moving on from what has happened yes and how do you feel that today the man of God located you and he directed you to forgive your husband and he even told you regarding a plan of the devil regarding the accident upon your lives I feel so grateful because uh, the plan of the devil has been revealed and I know that God is going to protect us. Amen. And how would you encourage somebody who's going to come across this? I will encourage them to be patient and trust in God and pray that God be the one to direct them each and every time because when you need to forgive, you also need to pray to God and ask him that he needs to guide you and help you to forgive. Amen. You are stressed about your court case. Huh? Mm. You are stressed about this court case. You are asking yourself if it will favor you or harm you. I want to tell you because this, is, this court case is very close. So now I want to tell you, Jesus will be with you. Thank you. You hear me? Amen. Amen. Jesus will be with you. Amen. Come on! Come on! Out, you demon! Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Chipiwa. I come from Centurion. The man of God today located you and he spoke to you. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Um, the man of God says, he says, I'm worried about the court case which is coming very soon. Um, indeed, I can confirm that um, there's a court case which is coming on the 21st of November. So he said, I should not worry, um, God will favor me. Would you kindly tell us briefly what this court case is about? It's regarding my um, divorce. And how has the issue of the divorce and the court case been affecting you? It's been dragging long. It's been like two years now. Yeah. So finally, um, I thank God the date is out and it's going to be over. Yeah. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and he ministered upon your life? I feel blessed. Um, I, I do believe... Um, the Holy Spirit is in this house and indeed if you've got faith and if you believe God will always fight for you that's why she always complain yes yes eh? she's asking, always always complaining yes hey, these things hey that one hey you don't even know what to say huh? Yes, yes, man. It's a demon. Huh? What are you doing here? Huh? Huh? I can't hear you. She removed her tooth on Monday. She won't get out. She won't get She won't get She won't She removed what? Uh, on Monday and she's in pain even today. So, so you're the one who caused this? Yes! Huh? This child has to have money and I want all of it! Never! You don't want her to have money? Never! So you want her to she make this man work. to complain? What huh? Never! Never! So she's always complaining about money? Yes, ma'am. About everything? Yes, Never! In Jesus' name, you are defeated. Leave her, leave her down here, leave her down here. In Jesus' name. Uh, you people here. Who is your husband to you? Huh? Because you house. have been kicked out of the house. Yes, uh, it's true. And now you are sick now. Yes, I, I am very sick. So Jesus will help you. Amen. You hear me? I'm yes, seeing sir. sickness. Yes. And there's a problem of your marriage. You've been kicked out, but there's a sickness yes, in true. your blood. Yes, it's true, sir. So Jesus will heal you. Amen. You hear me? Yes, sir. Mm. Because all the time now, you, you, it's like you, you want to give up. Yes, it's true. 
It's not time to give up now. Mercy can still rewrite your life. Amen. I want to pray for you. You know, a prayer of restoration. Jesus can help you. Amen. We don't help people. Yes, I know. It's Jesus who help people. Amen. You've been kicked out because already there's someone. Jesus. Stretch your hands to this lady because I, this is not good. Oh, you demon! Come out, you spirit of HIV. Come out! Please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Daisy Mozier. I'm coming from, Lip originally from Lipopo, but I reside in Nokem Park Extension 4. Today, Prophet Andres Simona located you and he spoke to you. So I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, a man of God called me out. He said to me, woman, come here. I went there. He said, your husband kicked you out from the house, which is true. My husband, on the 19th, of July. I was very sick. You know, doctor diagnosed me with heart failure and high blood pressure. And then I was very sick. He kicked me out from the house. He told me to pack everything and left the house. So my junior sister came with her car and picked me, take me home. And then when I, since that time, he never called me. When I met home, because they booked me for psychologists, they say I'm dealing with anxiety. So I came for checkup in Tembisa Hospital. So when I reached my, my sister's place, she told me, before you go to hospital, please jump this day. Do you need to go to Charis Church? You will get your deliverance. That's why I'm here today. Yeah. And so men of God still prophesied that uh, I have HIV. So I was not aware. It means it was hidden, you understand? And in the hospital, they didn't see those things. It means it was hidden because the devil afflict people. And I was not aware, but I believe what he said is true. And I believe that I am healed and delivered in Jesus' name. And Mama, how has the issue of your husband kicking you out been affecting you? You know, my husband, the way he's treating me, I'm not happy. I'm not happy in my marriage. We make money together. He built the house at home in, at, in Madamulele. So he doesn't want to roof the house. So we have cows there in the village. So I started selling them one by one because he's not giving me money to take care of myself. So I confess to him because I, I find that when I pray, my prayer is not going anywhere because I keep secret from him. I open up to him that, you know what, I, sell, I sold those cows because you are not taking care of me and uh, you don't think of anything. So he, from there, he kicked me out from the house. He doesn't want to see me. You know, he collected the cars. He doesn't want to hear anything from me. That's how the things happen. Yeah, and I was very sick. Yeah. And Mama, how do you feel that today the man of God located you and he spoke upon your case? 
I am free. I am very happy. I am free, and I believe coming for me coming to this uh, ministry, my solution has come because I am delivered. And this is my last bus stop. When I'm uh, interceding, I was praying for prayers. I said, God, I have four prayer requests. Uh, angels of Charis, locate my health. Number two, locate my marriage. Number three, locate my family. Number four, locate my ministry. If I am called, reveal yourself to me. That's how the things, and I thank God, the man of God already located me the way I am. So I am very happy, I'm overwhelmed, you know. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. I'm free.